Do you ever have one of those days? You had big plans and expectations, but nothing seems to go right, and just a few small inconveniences feel as if your whole day is ruined. Well, today started out as one of those, but thank goodness for those annoyances because it ended up being so much better than my original plan. The smoke alarms are bound to go off at any point. Nice. At least Pepper's having a good morning. The linen fog did not turn out as cute and frothy as I wanted, but it's still amazing. You want some burnt bacon? Disclaimer, this next clip, I have a massive piece of charred bacon in my teeth and it takes me a whole two minutes to realize, does this annoy me more than anything and make me not want to put this on the internet? Yes, but here we are, and you've been warned. Let me tell you my plans for today. Plan A, today was supposed to be warm and just the cozy beginnings of spring. I was like, I can go outside, do my yard work, maybe start in on the gardening. Keegan and I are wanting to make some garden beds. Eh, it's literally below freezing. Probably for the best. I have some homemaking things I need to do here at home. I could get started on spring cleaning, which I'm gonna be honest, I have no desire to spring clean. No desire at all. That doesn't mean that it shouldn't be done because it 100% needs to be done. My house is probably a lot dirtier than I would like to think. Make some cookies, have a nice indoor cozy homemaking day. My morning just didn't start off right. I kind of want to completely change up my plans for the day. Spring cleaning can wait. I don't know. It probably shouldn't, but it could wait. But you know what kind of sounds fun? Is to ditch the homemaking today. Maybe I shouldn't, but I don't know. I think I'm just trying to convince myself that I can put those things off a little bit longer. Ooh, I had bacon in my teeth. I'm so sorry. That's so gross. I digress, okay? When you're trying to vlog and make a really fun video, things just don't always go that way. So I'm gonna totally switch up my day. You know what I wanna do? I want to do something fun. And that something is maybe like painting my bedroom. I don't know. He and I have been talking about it for a while. And I was like, I just don't feel like doing any of the things that I had planned for today. So let's just like, go to Home Depot, pick out some paint, and paint an accent wall I've been wanting to for a while, and that would be really fun. A fun way to spend my Saturday. So, that was my long explanation for my plan for today. First things first, I want to head to Home Depot, pick out a paint color that we want, and add a little bit of color to my bedroom. Here, let me show you what it looks like right now. Okay, I have a window right behind me and I am strategically planting my head right in front of it so that the lighting doesn't get super weird and dark because I just, I haven't figured out my camera settings well enough to figure out all the lighting tricks and things to film in not ideal lighting. So. As you can see, these are kind of my walls right behind my bed. I'm still kind of figuring out the decor. I would like there to be lots of art, maybe even some pictures of Keegan and I, I don't know, mixed in kind of a little bit of a gallery, maybe only like 
three pictures. It doesn't have to be a ton. I want this to be slightly moodier than it is. So I'm thinking kind of like a dark green color. The rest of my walls in the bedroom are white, but I think it would be kind of fun to have a darker accent wall right here. I will step away so you can kind of get a better layout, but it's going to get dark, okay? It's gonna get dark. <sighs> Love that. Anyways, so for my decor, I have like right over here, um, I have like those little more bohemian, oh, what do you even call them? They're like little grasses, which they're not really my favorite. My mom actually brought them to me when we first bought our house just to add a little something to our walls. I think it's really cute, but it kind of gives me like tropical, more beachy vibes. And that's just not what I'm going for in the bedroom, but I might put them back up. I don't know. I need some art to put there, but they're just there for decor for now. So that probably is going to come down. And then on the other side, I have these like Amazon prints, which I'll link down below. They're super cute and fun. And I might honestly get more of these to kind of spread throughout. These were smaller than I thought, but I think they're cute next to each other. I'm just trying to figure out the layout I want of the art on this wall. And that was kind of what was taking me longer to paint this because I felt like, well, I want to have all the decor together, all of the art pieces that I want on the wall. But I kind of feel like I could do that later. I could paint the wall and then figure out kind of the layout of how I want the art to be set up and then I can buy some prints and that sort of thing. So I'm kind of thinking, I love the color scheme of those. I might take them down and show you. One thing I like about buying all of my prints online, I know they're not as, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but it is really cool when they're like hand painted and vintage. Don't get me wrong, I love that. But I think it's super pretty when you can buy prints that they just kind of fit together. I have this one that has like a little village with sheep super cute and it pairs super nicely with like this cottage with a mother and her children i think it's super pretty so that's the one thing about like buying online you can get them to kind of all have cohesive colors that just look really nice together that's kind of part of the reason why i get these and they're just a lot cheaper and they can still be super beautiful so I have these prints and I'll probably order more later, but not in today's video today. I think I'm just going to bring these pictures to Home Depot and kind of color match off of some of these greens so that I know that my art can kind of match well with the walls. So anyways, that was a long explanation for how I'm painting my accent wall and how I'm going to decorate it in the future. Anyways, let's head to Home Depot. sure the audio is just atrocious in here, but this is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I expected to find the right match. See, I found one that I think matches well, but then I'm like, do I even like the color? Right now we are between this. It's more of like a dark, slightly cooler toned than these other few. These are a little bit more warm, darker greens. That's kind of what I was going for was more of this, but I don't know. I'm wondering if these are gonna end up feeling kind of brownish and if I'm not going to like like a whole wall, whereas this feels more safe. It's more like pretty. I don't know. I just feel like this might be more timeless, whereas these I might get sick of. definitely underestimated how long we were going to be at the Home Depot, but here we are back at home a couple hours later and I will show you the paints that I decided on. I did go with the, it's called Night Mission Green. I think it's going to be so pretty and I honestly think even though it's moodier, it can fit all different seasons. Like I think for spring, it sounds fun to have a moody wall, but then add little bright pieces of color. So I don't know how I'm going to do that, but... Stay tuned, we'll see. That'll be a different project for another day. 
Okay, right now we're just painting and then I can decorate later. Also, I got this aged beige paint because we are going to redo our doors. At least our bedroom door today because we're kind of just focusing on our room. I'll show you in a minute. Our doors are so ugly. They're kind of atrocious, so they need a little makeover and Keegan's going hollow to- Hollow core. Yeah, they're like cheap, hollow, like super honey gold. Mm -hmm. Terrible finish, it's like peeling. Yeah. Terrible. Offends the woodworker in me. Yeah. Not fans, so we are going to give our doors a little homemaker. Little cheap fix instead of buying all new doors. So, did I say homemaker? Pretty sure you did. <laughs> a little makeover. Makeover. I don't know. Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing today. Even Pepper was like, this bacon is disgusting. Okay, it is time for me to change into something a little bit more practical. So. Let's do it. Wow, what a smooth transition. I bet you're really impressed. You know, I'm pretty good at this whole video editing thing. <laughs> Yikes. This wasn't what it looked like under the bed. All right, we now have ourselves a bit of a blank canvas. I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous. I hope it looks good. No turning back. <laughs> the progress so far. One coat in. Honestly, we are hoping our only coat. Fingers crossed that we could get it all in one coat. We tried to get plenty of paint on there, but we'll have to see when it dries. A super good afternoon pick-me-up, super refreshing drink is this Adrenal Cocktail. We have a really good recipe over on my podcast Instagram that I have with my sister, at Sister Sip. I'll put it in the description below. But clearly, you can also just kind of eyeball it. It's pretty forgiving, but it is so delicious and really good for you. Next project is working on those doors, or at least one door for now. We are cutting up some wood to use for the doors. What would you call it? Kind of trimming out the door, I guess. <laughs> You'll see what we're talking about. First, we have to just like cut it up into little pieces.
We were hoping to get it all done in just one coat, but we were noticing some more bare areas and we wanted it to look as nice and clean and professional as possible since we were doing it ourselves. So we ended up adding one more coat. Now that we've got our second coat of paint done, we are hopefully done with the wall once it dries. We are moving on to our door. So what's kind of the process that we're doing here? Uh, I'm just marking out where each of these sticks goes so that when I put glue on the back of them, I can just stick them right where they go and then put tape over them to hold them down and then that'll dry for an hour and then we can paint it. Makes sense? Sure. This trim needs to be painted to match the door, but this was kind of like a home project in a day or a couple days, so we didn't actually end up getting a chance to paint the trim, but I'm hoping to do that pretty soon here. This is so cute, so nice. I love, like this is such a fun little DIY project to kind of give your doors a little facelift. So I'm hoping to do this with the rest of our doors because they're all very similar to what these looked like before. So there you go. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Okay, we're realizing maybe our taping job was not as go. good as we expected. Oh. Oh my. It gets a little better down there, but. First job of a DIYer. Project is done. Ish. Ish. Partially done. How are we feeling about the accent wall? I like the color. Don't love the paint lines. No. Um. The color, literally a 10 out of 10. I was doubting myself a little bit in the beginning, but it ended up being probably the exact shade I was looking for, which is actually kind of surprising. I was so indecisive at the Home Depot. Still not 100% certain when I brought home the paint, but it was a good choice. I'm really good happy choice. with how it turned out. I love this coloring. Like I think it made our room feel cozier, homier. The paint lines do leave a lot to be desired. A lot, but we're planning on painting these other walls anyway, so we'll try and do better next time when we paint the not accent walls right to cover that up so right now you can't see it right here but i'm sure that you were seeing that it's like a white but this is like a very grayish bluish white that was here when we moved in and i'm going for a little bit of like a warmer toned creamier white so now it's just pushing me to paint our walls sooner the rest of the room. yeah <laughs> sooner than i was expecting you know we're just a couple amateur DIYers figuring it out, so. I paint the ceiling too. Yeah. This home. Quite the project. This home needs a lot of love. Yes, we'll <laughs> call it love. <laughs> Let's just say the previous owners, or the previous few owners. Didn't know how to use tape. Which obviously it's harder than we thought. Yeah, maybe we, maybe but... we don't have a lot of room to talk on that. On that one. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I felt a lot better about the comments that I like them not knowing how to use tape before this happened. Yeah, we were kind of roasting whoever painted this before. Yeah, maybe we should have. Harder should've. than we thought. Yeah, definitely harder than we thought, but not too bad for one of our first home projects. I hope that you guys enjoyed. This was a kind of a chaotic, different video. If you would like to see more of our like home renovation home makeover projects they're probably gonna be a lot like this one just us trying to figure it out learn from our mistakes but we're having a lot of fun so mm -hmm. let me know if you'd like to see more of this style of content and i will bring you guys along with our home projects give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed 
Subscribe if you're not already. I'd love to have you here in this little YouTube community, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!